All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode. This is episode four, part two of the Batman Telltale series. Let's jump in. We're stuck right now. Who to call? So let's go in and jump in and find out, right? We're going to do Gordon's connections, baby, if we have to. GCBD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Huh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now. And Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. Oh, this is going crazy. I know I keep saying that in each episode, but man, this is great. A serious house trophy earned, baby. 4.2, so that means episode 4, part 2. <laughs> Whoa. Seen in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. If you're looking for who to blame, maybe start with the mirror because you're the one that left violent psychotics unattended. Mr. Wayne, I understand you have been through a trying day, but that does not give you the freedom to criticize me or this facility in that way. Because from my perspective, my patients were fine until you went into that rec room today. One moment. You hang around. Yeah. Seems you have a visitor. This is Alfred. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You'll see everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I think I'll get a second opinion. Yeah. I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Let's go, Alfred. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! This is crazy. What's that about? <laughs> okay, that laugh was a little better. That laugh was a little better. Oh, man. Part two, baby. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. So many people angry at me. The entire family. I just hope I can turn it around. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. 
What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack. People are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. What an ass. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Harvey, how about we just agree to go our separate ways, all right? You think you can just walk away from me? Just like that, after everything you've done? Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. That isn't how I wanted things to go down either, Harvey. And I'm really sorry they did, but that is no excuse for this ridiculous crusade against me. I don't need an excuse. You're a criminal, and I'm coming for you. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. Uh-huh. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> well, maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Go ahead. I have nothing to hide. Doesn't sound like it. Besides, everyone's hiding something. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over, and then back up again, just to make sure it did the job! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred, I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? I didn't Psycho even did that. Me. I pressed the. Yeah, I filmed the whole thing. They should lock you up. Oh God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't. You'll be fine. You just need to get. I didn't even did that. Run, dirtbag. Next one won't be a warning shot. All right. Now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded, hmm? And well armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Here. It's everything I have. Okay. Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. What the heck? Dude, what the heck is going on? I press square, like telling me it's back off a of bit, but I didn't mean to say all that. What do you mean? It's the drugs, though. Harvey's clearly lost it. 
All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? So you're just gonna leave me alone here to deal with him? That's right. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. That night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. Well, she's right, she's right. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? I, uh... I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with all of this. Little by little, he's being alone. He's always worked alone anyways, but still. At least he's at fucking uh, Alfred, you know? Damn. But still. Come on. This is going too crazy now. This episode is going nuts. Just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. It is. He is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce, you look awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vell's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the bat computer. I'll make the preparations. Oh crap, okay. Oh man. Um this Next is the minute. fine sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. You're making me no. do this? I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We oh, gotta I gotta turn it around. Resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Um... There it is. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That should do it. What do you want me to do? Oh, thanks for telling me. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun.
Is it going Hopefully away? That does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. She's a monster. To do what she did. She has no sense of morality. She was playing me the entire time. Breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. You need to shave, she buddy. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. Oh, oh crap. A tip. Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Nope. No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. No, I absolutely don't trust him. The man is psychotic. Wonderful. Well, let's try to steer clear of him in the future, shall we? He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Couldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. Shoot. Well, well, I call well, it a scope grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Nice. Okay, thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce. Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. I love Alfred. He he's like a father figure to him. A lot of fucking uh father figure, you know what I mean? Oh, man. So we found an antidote. And we're going to her parents' house. Sorry, I'm scratching my eye. I'm going to leave it right here. It's going to be a little extra short video. I do apologize. Uh, but I got to go cook and fix some live streaming stuff that I got to do. So, like I said in the previous videos, remember to check out my live streams. I do a live stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Allegiant Squares. Same way it's spelled on YouTube. If you don't want to search it, go into the description, click the link, and it's right there, and you can follow me. Click the follow if you have a, a Twitch app. It lets you know when I'm live, and it pops out. You can click on the phone, and there it is. And um, you can see me live and interact with me there as well. If, uh, if you want to help in donation and stuff like that, I don't ask for a donation, but if you are willing... Of course, you can donate um, on my Twitch app, um, on my Twitch channel, and you can help the channel grow, and I can have better equipment for you guys, can see better gaming and stuff like that in the future. But if you don't have to, um, you don't have to donate. If you don't want to donate, you don't have to. I'm just happy that you guys are enjoying my videos, enjoying my live streams, and of course, uh, thank you so much for spending time with me. I'll see you in the next one. This is Alien Scourge. Click on the screen right now for other videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.